Good morning. We're gonna make the French toast cubes that I've been telling y'all about. So I got the country white loaf sliced up into the cubes and ready. Now we're gonna make the egg mixture. We need four eggs, one cup of milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We'll get this mixed up and then put the bread cubes in here and let them soak for about five minutes or so. In this bowl, we've got three fourths of a cup of sugar. Teaspoons of cinnamon. And with this, after we cook the French toast cubes in the pan, we're gonna roll them in the cinnamon sugar mixture. It's been about five or six minutes that the bread's been soaking. We're gonna go ahead and melt some butter, give it the bacon. Now we just start cooking the cubes. They're going to take about three minutes. That smells good. Is that more? Okay, now I'm just going to mix around the rest of them. Got the ones that were mostly on the bottom, so now we'll mix these that are left in the bowl to make sure those that were on top get plenty of the egg mixture on them. All right, y'all, it is now a little bit after three o'clock in the afternoon. We're about to make some carrot bread, but this isn't a sweet carrot bread. It's a savory carrot bread. I don't think I've ever had savory carrot bread before. We've had sweet, we've had carrot cake, but the savory, I don't think we've ever had. So we're gonna give it a try. I've never tasted it before, so I'm not sure what it would go good with. So we're gonna make it today, and we'll probably end up having it with whatever we make for supper tomorrow night. We'll see what it tastes like, what it would be good with. So we've got one pack of active dry yeast in here. Now we're gonna put three fourths of a cup of warm milk. Stir that around just a little bit. And we're gonna put in a tablespoon of honey. A little bit of the honeycomb might get in there. That'll be fine. Tonight for supper, we're having taco salad. All right, we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes. We'll go ahead and get our other ingredients ready. I need to chop up the carrots that I already have peeled over here. We need to really chop them up. We're gonna use the little mini food chopper. From what I'm reading of the ingredients and all, it seems like it would be good with cheese in it, like a cheesy savory carrot bread. But since I've never made it before, we won't try that this first time. We just 
just need a cup and a half, so I think I've got just about enough. Might have a little too much. Yeah. You want to press the button? No. Where's the button? Is it that thing? Okay, it's right here. Nope. One, two, three, jump. All right, now press it. Very good. Now we bring over the Kitchen Aid and we go get the flour. We need two and three fourths of a cup of all purpose flour. We'll add in our carrots. We need two teaspoons of salt. One, two. We're putting in a teaspoon of fresh chopped basil. A quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. We're just gonna eyeball that one and an eighth of a teaspoon of chili powder. We're gonna whisk this together by hand, and then we're gonna put on the paddle attachment. Oh, it smells really good. It smells very good. <laughs> I'm telling you, I really feel like cheese would be good in here, but we'll stick with the plan this first time. Add in the yeast mixture, and we're gonna beat it on low until a sticky dough forms. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We're adding in two tablespoons of softened butter, semi-melted softened butter, and we're gonna beat it for about five minutes or so until it really forms the dough and starts to pull away from the sides. Almost ready. We're gonna spray this bowl with cooking spray. Now, I'm just gonna take a little bit of flour and knead this dough by hand in the KitchenAid here, you're pretty much just shaping it into a ball. It's already kind of ball shaped. You're just making it, you know, more of a smooth looking ball. And you just need that little bit of flour on your hand so it doesn't stick to you too bad. This smells really good, y'all. Okay, we're gonna flip it over one time just to make sure we get a little bit of that oil on the top of the bread. Now we're gonna cover it and it's gonna rise for one hour. Miss Turkey sees us coming with the pan. She's already waiting. <laughs> Let's dream about the garden. Tomato plants over there, pepper plants, okra. Okay, we're back inside. It's been a little over an hour. It's pretty much doubled in size. Now we're gonna punch it down. Would you like to punch? <laughs> Sissy wants to punch it down. And then we're gonna transfer it to this nine inch iron skillet. I just rubbed a fresh coat of vegetable oil on here. It smells so good. Like this almost smells like it could be a pizza dough. So now we just cover it again and it's gonna rise for about 30 to 45 minutes. Manly just built this thing right here. Oh yeah, let me tell you what it does. It stares at mama's yeah. face. He said it's gonna be looking at me. It's gonna be watching me. Okay, it kinda looks like an alligator a little bit. Is that what it is? No, it's a spy thing. Oh, it's a spy thing? Okay. I see him looking at me. Preheating the oven for the carrot bread and we're gonna make some guacamole to go with the taco salad so when the oven preheats it just has to bake for about 30 to 35 minutes okay I'm gonna set a 20 minute timer for the bread and we'll just check on it then for the guacamole we're just gonna do avocado pepper these peppers aren't hot a few crushed red pepper flakes salt pepper just a little bit of lemon juice. I would use lime, but I don't have any lime, so we're gonna use lemon juice. Now pepper, like I said, these are not hot, so I'm not gonna worry about taking the seeds out. Plus just me, Titus, and Jonah will be the ones who want the guacamole, and we all like spicy foods anyway, just in case this does happen to be a hot one, but I got these from Ingles the other day, and so far none of these have been hot. Put some salt and pepper. 
red pepper flakes and just a little bit of lemon juice and that's it now we'll just mash it with a fork mix it together and put it in the refrigerator and I need to defrost the ground beef and then we'll just cook up the taco meat y'all we just finished eating supper and this has been cooling down over here I thought it was gonna be like a hard bread it's not it's very very soft and fluffy like it's a really pretty bread isn't it pretty it is I guarantee you. it's just a nice looking little what can I say here you do the honors cut it this way and you put you some meat on the inside and have you a mega cheeseburger yeah feel how soft and that's fluffy. very soft lord have mercy that's almost like a Ye big old yeast roll. yeah it really is look at that I seen some butter while ago. Oh, I just put it in the refrigerator. Well, me, uh, this is our house, folks. <laughs> it's kind of soft. It's been sitting out. Yeah, it's been soft. You know, now, we don't all get our own little butter stick, <laughs> you know. But for this, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do it my way. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. What's mm. it like? Here, let me try some. I'll tell you good. Let me try some. Spread me a little butter. <laughs> get your own stick, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. You can make that right there and serve that with a meal. It'll make you smack your granny. It's just something we say. It means good stuff. We it don't means really nice. Do it. No, nobody's smacking granny for here. No. I don't know if I some people, everywhere. But some people I mean, I say it'll make you smack your granny. Some people say it'll make you smack your mama. But then you, you smack get a, either one of them in the south, they'll smack <laughs> you back. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. It's I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a big huge yeast roll. It's really delicious, I'm gonna say. Um if you didn't want to put the carrots in it, you could leave the carrots out. Put the carrots in it, it gives it, it makes it really pretty. It gives it some carrots. Yeah. <laughs> See, it makes it really pretty, but that is so good. And it would be I said when I was making it that I think it would be good with cheese in it. A little bit of cheese. If it gives a little cheese, this would be good with some spaghetti. Yes, it would. Spaghetti? Mm-hmm. You serve that right there, buddy. That is great. I'm very surprised. I thought it was going to be like a hard, crusty outside, kind of a dry. No, it is extremely very moist. Very moist, y'all. I, I ain't kidding. I mean, look that. at that. Look at that. It's, it's really good with some soft butter. Don't wrestle with your butter stick. Get you some soft butter. Mm -hmm. That way you don't have to fight with that, you know. That's amazing. That stick ain't want to cooperate. Never in our life we didn't know what we were missing because we weren't making carrot bread. I mean, I'm full from supper, but I want to keep eating this whole piece of bread. It's really good, y'all. I kid you not. It's really Tomorrow, delicious. we'll make a spaghetti dish to go with it. Yeah. Some kind of pasta dish. Ooh, I'm excited. This is a recipe that's blowing me away at how good that is. Yeah. I'm coming back over here because I have to tell y'all. Did you? Okay, hang on. I'm well, sorry. Folks, this really got her tore up. She's, I mean, she's blown away and crying at the same time. You need to make this for Easter. Wouldn't that be a really pretty bread to serve with Easter? It really like would. Uh, it, this by itself could be like a little appetizer. It could with some little. You cut it up right. I've already got a knife ready for that. Miss Edwards. Miss Edwards. Miss Edwards made a lemon cream pie for us. Uh, he got it from Ingalls. If you, <laughs> if you were to take this and slice it just right and put you some soft serve uh, serve butter. That tastes better. I mean, I've been on you could blow that room away. Right. That, <laughs> no. that tastes better than any yeast roll type thing I've ever gotten from any. And like I said, if you don't want the carrots, I think the carrots are really pretty for Easter and springtime. A little bit of honey butter. Spread that on you right there. That'd be like a... <laughs> not on you. I mean, I'm talking about <laughs> spread that on your bread. <laughs> they might be rubbing honey Folks. butter on their cheek. Don't rub it on you. Rub it on you butter. I mean <laughs> your bread. Listen, I'm blown away, folks. I'm blown away. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, but it ain't blowing me away like that carrot bread. No, it's just sucking me in like getting another thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been blown away to a different state and you're still- Get her Miss Edwards and get her back over here! <laughs> you're inside the pie box. <laughs> I'm gonna let you see it right now.